Hello MMA fans, Grandmaster Ted Gamadella here with some predictions for UFC 141 and my comments on the stupidest marketing decision the UFC has ever made. Alistar Overeem versus Brock Lesnar. This is a very tough fight to figure out. If Lesnar stands up against a man who's the three-time champion the Strike Force, the Pride, and some other crazy kickboxing division, he has simply got no zero minus zero chance to win the fight. And he can't trade any punches with Overeem. He'll get knocked out completely. If it goes to the ground, Overeem only has a triangle choke, I mean a uh, guillotine choke, and that's his only ground move. So Lesnar can beat him on the ground. So I think that Lesnar can take him down, and I'm picking Brock Lesnar to beat him. But here is the point. This is the stupidest marketing decision in the history of the UFC. Brock Lesnar is unquestionably the biggest star in the UFC. Even bigger than George St. Pierre. He hasn't fought in a couple of years. He's their biggest star. He's making a comeback. And yet they're putting him up against another potential big, big star, Alistar Overeem. They're taking their two biggest stars and in their first fight for Overeem, and in the first fight for Brock Lesnar to come back, they're going to fight each other. That's insanely stupid. For four years we've been begging Mayweather to fight Pacquiao. That's how you promote a fight. You don't let Brock Lesnar come back and have the toughest fight of his life on his first fight back. You don't invite Alistair Overeem into the UFC and have him fight the ex-champion, everybody's favorite. Whoever wins the other guy is in terrible condition to be a big, big loser. That's stupid. You are wasting hundreds of millions of dollars in potential revenue by having these two giant, famous, huge draws fight each other in this fight. It's stupid. Have Lesnar fight some nobody. Have Overeem fight some nobody. Build up the hype. Dana White has made the stupidest marketing decision in the history of the UFC. Now, real quick, let's look at the uh, Crazy Diaz brother versus the Crazy Cowboy Cerrone. That's going to be a good fight. But I'm pretty sure Cerrone's going to be exposed real quick. Diaz is a better boxer. And he's dang sure better on the ground. And he's going to just whip the crap out of Cerrone. And Cerrone is really, really being pushed by the UFC and even pushed more by Tap Out. So I don't know about these fights. I don't feel the excitement. I don't see it being built. It's too quick after their last big fight with Henderson and stuff. It's just some terrible marketing decisions by the UFC. I'll be watching it. It'll be fun. It'll be exciting. But it's the stupidest marketing in the world. And if the UFC continues to do that, they're going to lose a lot of fans by wasting their greatest fighters on fights that no one is prepared or ready for right now. This is Grandmaster Gamadella. I'll be right on these two picks. I'll see you next time.